this is also going to be a pretty uh, important special program i've seen some leaks announcements of the thing and i think this is really important because now that weathering waves have has released genshin impact is kind of forced to step up their game and we're gonna see if they've done if they're going to do that already i mean it is already a pretty chonky um live stream even though it's uh 4.7 but i know there's going to be some reveals for notland maybe that's why it's a little longer but I, i'm actually very curious to see very curious to see what they're bringing to the table to see what they're um what they're what they're doing to like kind, kind of compete with the rise of weathering waves honestly so let's take a look at what that is and see how it all goes i do remember you ben her a little bit you've popped it it's been like what a year since you last popped in i don't even know that being said let's dive right in let me know if the volume's working it should but we'll see he comes and goes without leaving a trace only appearing at the most critical moments he's highly knowledgeable and he likes to share his observations Are you talking about Dane's Leaf? She has a cold oh. and stern exterior, and her spotless battle record has earned her renown throughout Fontaine. Okay. She is an unusual-looking Melusine with an equally unique perspective on the world. Of all the new characters coming now, out, I'm actually the most interested in Sejuan because today to she's just the unusual, the least human. Program. Ayo! Hey, Borker. Here. Really? <laughs> Hello, travelers. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, our hosts for the special program include... Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. You may know me from all those new character intro videos and occasionally drop in lore on y'all. Whoa, and that's his Lance normal Erwin, voice? The voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sijuin. She's there keeping everybody all healthy and nice and making sure everybody hey, feels good. And hey, everyone. I'm Crystal Lee, the voice of Fontaine's champion duelist, Clorand. Pew, pew, pew. Clorand? All right, nice. So Clorand? Got traveler, the way she pronounces that name, though, kind of hurts. And a healer. I think it's the perfect adventuring party. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, what a wild coincidence, you guys. I just received an <laughs> invitational letter to a new domain. Yeah, new domain? Yeah, not a coincidence. That. What do you <laughs> where did that come that's from? That's just destiny. Yeah. Definitely. You know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Hello? Traveler? Paimon? Would you join us and play Mar Chausse Hunter Judgment Day? What's this? Oh, is this a new... Oh, this, this is the new endgame. This is, is, wait, is this the new endgame? No. Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone This era. is the new endgame, right? A series of events unfolding in the capital. Or not? Many of my habits no, it is and customs not. I've adopted this... from the Mara Shosei hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. She is pretty fine. Loaded. Time to testify. I do really love the burst animation. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment Wait, of the present. Madam Mage, so vast and mysterious. There must be quite Bethos. a story behind this place. So, I'll explore this place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. Way ahead of you. I kind of like his design. Is he a charge attacker? Interesting. Not that I doubt your fighting ability, of course. It's just it's so much more dangerous in there than I ever. That imagined. giant ass needle is gonna traumatize so many people. It's not even funny. Bruh. Ooh, I wonder how those bubbles target. Like, what's the aim? A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian. Oh, is that her story quest? But they don't trust me at all. Aww. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master Mummy, you are a psychopath. Here for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering. 
or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Who's talking? Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Is this a day's leaf quest? No. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Marachose hunter. You used it yourself, oh. didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. Wait, what? That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. I'm invested. Fifth day. One day. Hello? I shall have my vengeance. Hello? That way. Captain Dainsleaf could accomplish okay. his own goal. If Dainsleaf is in this, I'm invested. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> Hello? Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? What? 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 Okay. I ha okay. I'm 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 definitely very, very, very interested in the story now. Holy smoke. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna be playing through the main story ASAP once it comes out. <coughs> Nice, MK. That's crazy. Oh, it looks like our first mission is here. <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble your team. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, our they, first they, they pulled up. Genshin has pulled characters. up. They've pulled up. All right, this is getting exciting. Here it is. All right, then. Well, how about we start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Clorand. You would say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. In my role as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. Hello? For when I draw my blade, I am that an sword? instrument of Fontaine's law. It's interesting. I guess it's more like a rape here. Ready. Is People she not able to move when she shoots the gun like that? Is so cool. Mm hmm. Clarence's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Marachose hunters. Ooh, the hunters from the artifact set. Mm hmm. The Marachose hunters you don't were have an to. organization you don't that have defeated to. monsters and upheld justice from the You shadows. can hold off from spending money I on Clarence. The group's name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical records. Exactly. I'm really wondering if it's the tights that's making history. him want to, to spend the modern day Fontaineans, they're nothing <laughs> the more than money. an old legend from novels and plays. <laughs> but for Clarence, the Marachose hunters' legacy is really real. If travelers want to learn more about the Marachose hunters, then be sure to check out Clarence's story quest in the new version. I want to learn more about the Marachose hunters. Perfect, then let's get into her combat abilities. Clarence is categorized as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. During her charged attack, Clarence uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Mm. Also, Clarence has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified of her. I know, right? And kind of adorable. Even the champion uh. duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Sijuin. Oh, what? Though it's probably a meaningful ritual for Clarence, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clarence focus on the opponent mm. in front of her. In fact, Clarence's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates oh, how she can, dash she with can it. be when she's focused. Ooh. Check this out. During combat, unleashing Clarence's elemental skill will cause her to enter the Night Vigil state. Yes. During this state, Clarence can unleash two different types of special attacks. Two. Her normal okay. attacks will be converted into Swift Hunt pistolet yeah. attacks. Yes. And her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack, Impale oh, the Night. Oh, huh. okay. That makes Looks it like a little bit more interesting and kind of better than Ayato's. Does the skill have any additional effects? Oh, good perception on those eyes. Those swift hunt pistolet attacks increase Clarence's bond of life, and her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so okay. she accumulates the bond with one hand 
and then clears it with the other? So she has oh, Bond of really Life too? Yeah, Cloran's special attacks have different effects depending on the value of her Bond of Life. So when her Bond of Life is like relatively low, her Swift Hunt pistol hmm. attacks have a piercing effect and they deal greater damage. Oh. But when her Bond of Life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Again. Ah, gotcha, I get it. <laughs> so Cloran is meant to use her pistol A to accumulate a Bond of Life and then use her sword to clear it mm. once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks mm. benefit each other. Bingo! That's actually so interesting. That makes her a little bit more unique. unique. I kind comments. of like that. So when she's in the Night Vigil state, yep, any she has Bond of Life. Then the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the night will be converted into a bond of life this unique talent allows different healing effects to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay so travelers can experiment with a variety of different tactical combinations that's cool also although Cloran is Wait, most that means as a she's not good duelist, with a healer she has right never forgotten her identity as a Mara Shose hunter so during her elemental burst I'm not getting her lightfall Cloran draws on her Mara Shose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill that empowers mortals to fight deadly monsters this ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her but I will say her kit's un pretty unique. Grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Wow, that's Wait, does so she scale cool. with HP then? But if that power is designed to fight monsters, is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? <laughs> Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, companions? Dark Shattering Flame. Companions? Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Though, note, there is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can gain from this effect. Clorand also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. What does that mean? If her Bond of Life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her Bond of Life value will increase her crit rate. What? That's right. And while she's in the Night Vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a Bond of Life will increase. What? Yeah. And finally, being what? a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Cloran can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional resources on the mini map. Okay, we so don't care awesome. about that. <laughs> I'm sure that she increases her crit rate. She sounds pressure, really strong. Defeat monsters, and of course, uphold justice. Not he actually sounds order. really strong. So, 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 so. She increases crit rate pretty stern and composed based on her bond of life. But I wonder how she so can unwinds. Like, hmm. does she have any hobbies? Ooh. So you don't sure need to invest in crit rate too much. Work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sejuin and making sure to return the favor because she's sweet. Aw, and yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an active member of the tabletop troop during her off hours. So in version 4.7, troop? travelers won't just have the chance to learn more about the Mara Chose hunters during her story quest, the Riparia chapter. They'll also get to join Clorand on a very special tabletop troop adventure. Tabletop Woo! troop? I love TTRPGs so much. Ooh, I know. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm and not. <laughs> hook, with all of that, that is all the information that I have to share about Cloran. So, next up, let's introduce our adorable little Sejuin. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Too excited. Hold on, hold on. We gotta look at her demo first. Yes. You right, only Sejuin. get one body, so you gotta take care of it. Psychopath dialogue to right there. That's cute. So, Clorand is for the hardcore players of Genshin, while Sijuin is for the casuals. Is this how it goes? Ain't no way. She's really cute. Wow. I love her pills so Cuteness much. Overload. The bubble has ears on it. I would love Clarence, to a D&D player confirmed. Like oh my gosh. Legs dangling in the air. I think yeah, that's with going. The bubble gun and the giant <laughs> syringe. Guys, so cute. <laughs> Those bubbles are so People are going to love Clarence because she's a D&D really, really player. Know, that's but, hilarious. But, but, but if that's the syringe she uses on her patients, I can see why they might be nervous about getting sick. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hey, sometimes you got to take your medicine. And since she's the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, Sejuin wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care of your body is Sijuin's the most important Sejuin's kit probably goal, won't be that interesting, and people are going to pull for her because her design's super cute. Zone, so she always tries to sneak them healthy meals, but she doesn't think that 
that's the substitute for some proper rest. Oh. We'll take a page out of her book. Yeah. Seems like you'll need to be well fed and well rested if you want to keep up with Sijuin. <laughs> for sure. She seems like such a caring and attentive person. But then what's your So true, fights? Jack. I mean, we'll find well, out. Sijuin is a hydro bow user. Her normal attack unleashes up to three consecutive attacks. During the second and third attack, Sijuin takes out a pill and tosses it at her opponent. That's kind I of saw funny. That in the demo. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Look at the size of that thing. That she is can a make giant ass pill. using her charged attack. Once the shot is held in fully charged, Sijuin's bow will fire slow moving mini stration bubbles, what? dealing hydro damage to her target. Just she doesn't even sure need to release it? To release her arrow. Oh, and also, Sijuin uses a specially made bubble gun she, to fire what? a giant bolstering bubble bomb during her elemental skill. Rebound hydro therapy. Her charge attack the shoots stuff without even shooting. nearby opponents, dealing hydro damage to anyone it touches, and restoring HP to all nearby party members, well, except for Sijuin that, herself. I can see Sijuin that being kind be of fun. a certain amount of health when the bolstering bubble bomb disappears, which is based on her max HP. P. Okay. Oh, she scales off HP. Bomb. Say that three times fast. Oh, please don't <laughs> make me. You know... Travelers could have a, a bubble blowing contest with their sejuins. Would that Jeez. be great? You can Interesting. have that. Exactly like great blowing idea. bubbles. The longer you hold her elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Oh my god, Once she starts to float like the uh, those hilly chill things. in size as it bounces around. The bigger the bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. And if a large <laughs> bubble hits a weaker <laughs> enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa. Guys. It's like she's trapping them in a cage. We can finally do what the kindness. enemies do to us like through she, she cares about Her bedside manner is so strong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second. Are those the orbs that Nivellette drops? It looks like Sijuin oh. creates two source water droplets when she fires a bubble. And it looks like she gains a bond of life when she touches them. How does that work? I can see, I, okay, I can her, because well. her thing's slow, Since it can come across as boring, nurse, but I think Sijuin she can be kind of fun in the overworld. the most of a dire situation. Her elemental skill creates source water droplets. Oh. And Sijuin can give her a bond of life by absorbing them. When that bond of life is cleared, Sijuin can regain some elemental energy based on the value luck, of the bond of life. Neat. Ah, so Sijuin's healing can nullify her bond of life and she can restore energy for herself. Nice. Wait, That's she has right. bond of life too? While the bond of life is hazardous to most people, it can actually be perceived as a real advantage for Sijuin. After she unlocks her talent, detailed diagnosis, thorough treatment, Sijuin's healing will be increased based on the total bond of life values across all the characters in her party. They're really oh, just doing goodness. a bond of life Sounds meta like now. like a melusine can make the bond of life a lot less scary. <laughs> <laughs> After using her elemental burst and absorbing nearby source water droplets, Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. <laughs> this attack deals continuous hydro damage. Wait, that's so cute. Even her attacks are a form of medical treatment. A huge syringe. Yeah, I mean, hey, she just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right? Sijuin wants every patient to get a proper amount of rest. After unlocking her passive talent mm. requires appropriate rest, unleashing her elemental skill will also trigger the semi-strict bed rest effect. Oh. This effect will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Sijuin can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Ooh. I like how it's only I'm tempted to have a team of Nevilet, <laughs> Farina, and Sijuin. She couldn't be super strong. <laughs> Wow, so it seems like the Bond of and Life mechanic is pretty integral to both Sijuin and Claran's kits. Not gonna lie. That sure was a lot of information, though. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see these abilities in action. And travelers won't just be limited to the play styles that they've seen here, right? As, as I understand is it, the mechanics her skin leave care? a lot of room for open experimentation. Yeah, yeah. Right. And outside of combat, melazines are very Gotta add hydro to travel to shoot. Uh, the always takes I don't want to invest in that. During underwater exploration. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her what? party member for a period of time. What? Unfortunately, doing so will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances. There's oh. always a price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. That seems like a skill that would come in handy, though. I mean, that is, yeah. is always looking out for us. Mm -hmm. Thanks, head nurse. <laughs> oh, Triple balls comp. Oh, oh my and gosh. I got a quick question Stop. for you all. <laughs> yes. Have you noticed any differences between Sijuin and other Melazines? 
the best way to get more well, balls. I think her appearance and her interests definitely stand out. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ignore the tail and the feelers on her head, then she actually doesn't look that different from a human child, right? How could you ignore those? <laughs> right. Well, it's sure fair. <laughs> but also, she's interested in beauty, and she knows a lot about skincare, and she actually even contributes to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine. Claren would know this, obviously. And her medical knowledge. Right? We haven't encountered any other Melusines who give medical treatment to humans. Oh. And Sijuin seems to care the most about the people of Fontaine. She's and a she's psychopath. Also one of the few melusines who work in the fortress of Meripede, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally speaking, not many people are willing to treat criminals. I mean, not even a melusine's open-mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mm, Sijuin's does. You're all bringing up great points. Don't you think that Sijuin's differences from the other melusines make her seem more unique and approachable at the same time? Mm -hmm. In the Nerei chapter, travelers will have the chance to learn more about the background of this very special melusine in her personal story quest. Cute. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, speaking of story quests, didn't travelers meet a mysterious youngster last version? Which I'm about Sometime to do after this Sino's live stream. Story quest? Mm -hmm. Well, travelers <coughs> will now have the opportunity to add him to their parties. He recently left the desert and he's eager to travel around. So, Zach, why don't you introduce him? Go, Zach. Oh, me? Uh, okay, then. Let's take a look at Sethos's demo. Let's do it. If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. Seizure's parents, Nevulet. Give me some space. Glory to Alakmar! I mean, he's a four star, so I'm, I'm not getting too excited about it. His weapon looks interesting, though. Oh, His bow oh, looks like hey. it could be a boomerang. This I don't know why. Is so cool. He looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, the clothes and the hair, I love it. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert heritage, he's also talented in archery. Sethos has always. If you mean loved because she looks human, we just saw in the trailer a little hint about, about it the that we're going to find out in 4.7 Quest the roads like with Dane's Leaf. And he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you can you get your own your where bugs. This is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the location of Sumero regional specialties on the mini map. Nice. Cool. Wait, so I'm curious. He's Everyone lived in a farming, desert for trying his to build uh, Sumero characters the in Eden. Ancient legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either That's be a like really introverted or just super arrogant. But Sethos doesn't seem like that huh. at all. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sethos is a very open-minded and cheerful person. As the successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind and he tries to be optimistic. In fact, his personality is a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that sounds like... Are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he's a pretty busy guy, and he lives a pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> and he's around the same age as the General Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally visits the academia, he's always trying to make friends in Sumeru City, and he enjoys browsing he's an goods extrovert. at the Grand Bazaar. My but mortal we've enemy. already talked a lot about his hobbies. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. Yes. Yes, please. Sethos's aim shot has a special variant when charged mm -hmm. to level 2. He can't move when his attack is charged to its second what? level, but it allows him to fire he a can't powerful move? shadow piercing shot that can pierce enemies, dealing electro damage to targets in its path. Ooh. Sethos's talent, Black so. Kite's Enigma, can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. Wait, elemental energy? Oh, so yeah, you yeah, can sacrifice some of your burst aim energy. Shots take a really long time to charge. Yeah. So I think that means players need to store up elemental energy to fire the shadow piercing shot faster, right? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yes, he is. Yeah, you're right on. Hey. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE electro damage, mm -hmm. and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, quicken, aggravate, or hyperbloom reaction. Ooh, that's a mm. lot. So but he can really be also a, have another option for firing powerful shots. Okay, so instead By of wasting time on your charge shot, you can just use him as Sethos a battery. Will perform an 
ancient Maybe. ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. He will enter the twilight meditation state, converting his normal attacks gonna be using him for to his enemy piercing dust charge shot that deal unless with it can like be like a insta charge. Oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. C6. That's cool. That sounds like a mini version of the shadow piercing shot, only it doesn't take as much time to fire. Useful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities, so, uh, between you and me, does that mean Sethos has mastered other mysterious rituals and techniques? Of course! Yo. I'm sure that the Temple of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. Are they trying to tell One me that either four stars is also supposed to be a DPS? By a shadow piercing shot for a period of time based on his elemental mastery. Okay, all right. Sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full use of his martial heritage. He's similar to Kalorand in that sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. We finished the first mission. Nice. I wonder what the next one's going to be. Let's get it. Oh, it looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets in our next mission. Mm. What? <laughs> why, why are all you guys looking at me? Because it's well, dangerous. I mean, secrets are kind of your area of expertise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All your character does is speak in riddles. Speak plainly, sir. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who can shed some light on the hidden secrets. Oh, here he goes. So here we go. <laughs> Archon Quest Chapter 4, Act 6, Bedtime Story, will become available in version 4.7. Travelers will finally reunite with... About Dainsley. damn time. Hey, Why is it called Bedtime Story? Is this just going to be like a dream? Mm, that's, that's what you guys were waiting for, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> also, I, you know, got to break out my voice acting skills for this patch, you guys. Oh my gosh, <gasps> words come out of your mouth? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet face to face. Like in real? Ooh. It's called Based Bedtime Story, though. In the trailer, it seems like the loom of fate is now complete. So Luma travelers fate? can look forward to learning more about Kari Bear in this uh, da, 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 We can't what? Let, just can't reveal too? everything right now. Okay, oh. leave some secrets for me. These are important secrets that travelers should uncover for themselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We can call off the snipers. Call off the snipers. <laughs> right? Look, look, I look, they're I know. Really, they're I get really it, throwing in their punches to make us excitement. come back, so, aren't they? Ooh. I will throw you a bone. To help tide you over until the next update. I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. Oh. What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. It is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh. But first, 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 we need to introduce the event wishes. Oh, okay. 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 So, okay. Okay. in the first phase of version 4.7, Chlorand and Alhatham will be featured in the event wishes. <laughs> Where's Dirt? Yeah. Sethos will be the new four star unit that appears on this event wish banner. So, Chlorand and Sethos team comp? Of the version, Travelers can look forward to it. And then Cesarean and Farina team comp, and then if you have Nevulet, you're, you're good to go. Because there's never enough. A new five star sword, <gasps> Absolution, and a new Ooh, five star gorgeous. bow, Silver Shower Heartstrings. Not gonna lie, that bow looks like it should be a four star kind of. I don't know. So oh no, yeah. not just so, me. So good, right? All right, okay, okay. I've made y'all wait long enough. Let's bring out the surprise. Yeah, sure you enjoys it. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay. Give it to us. Ooh. Looks when the animation's looking pretty clean so far. Oh, copyright strike, copyright strike, <laughs> copyright strike. <laughs> oh no, I'll just uh. <laughs> Lower the volume significantly. Sorry, chat. Wow, Mondstadt has never looked that good. Oh. 
<laughs> Solid eye animation. Oh no, not the feet! That's not even a. Obviously, it's not Ayaka. Damn, the looming feet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there, shoes. <laughs> Genshin must be really trying to get back all the people they lost from Withering Waves if they're showing bare looming feet like that. Damn. Damn. Oh, cute! Either feet, too? Oh, it's over. It's actually over. Good job with the analyst too. I've come with you this Damn, looming with the cape looks sick. Our past we shall <laughs> Again, impact feet unlocked. That should be the title right there. Ain't no way! That was crazy. In more ways than one. What do we think of that? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Welcome back, travelers. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's about time we introduce this domain behind us. Yes, yes! For yes, new endgame. So Give ready. it to us. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you sound ready. <laughs> the location of this challenge seems pretty intriguing. Mm -hmm. Paimon and the Traveler discovered a secret room within the Mondstadt Library. Lisa. And they've received an invitation to participate in a mysterious performance. Performance? Oh, I love secret rooms and libraries. I've always wanted one. <laughs> so that's right. The all-new event, Imaginarium Theater, will become available in version 4.7 yep. for travelers who are adventure rank 35, 35 or higher. Or higher. Nice. Yep. Wait, so this is a library? Mm -hmm. Wow. The coolest library. I know, it looks a lot different <laughs> than what I imagined. That's huge. decently yeah, high. It looks more like a magic castle. Mm. Right? So cool. Oh, the picture's moved. It's Hogwarts. So, travelers Monstad is Hogwarts. concierge in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. Wolfie? No. So Wolfie. He'll reveal that this Wait, is that room him? was created by a mage. Oh, he's a cute little he's doll. waiting for a guest to take the stage. He is also a poet. <laughs> that that guest cute. will hopefully put on a magnificent performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. The mage's story? Bring on story? that main character energy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in okay. order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wow, okay. that was fast. But what kind of challenge is it? Oh, let me tell you. Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Okay. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be yep. allowed to participate. So travelers will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. And you can do special oh, guest characters. I get it. That's cool. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Trial uh -huh, characters. Good thinking, but you won't have to worry about that. Claw Hand? Oh, I don't off, need to pull for Claw Hand six anymore. characters will be designated as the initial <laughs> lineup for each challenge. Challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Nice. And travelers can also invite special guest characters to participate in the challenges that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their friends. Weird. They can also select their friends supporting oh. characters to join their own team. That's, That's nice why there's okay, right? cool. Friend, friends. Friends who, okay, who all, the no all the whales add me. All the whales, please add me to my to, to add and me as a friend, please. Th please and thank you. Period, please and thank you. Six designated characters who make the initial lineup will gain fantastic my friend blessings. List, whales only. This will grant them buffs that remain Slash potent not true. even outside of the Imaginarium Theater challenge. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes. Wait, what? Wow. You're kidding. Wait, wait, wait okay. What? The mage behind the theater must wait. Sorry. Potent even outside. 
challenge right. period, those six designated characters who make the initial lineup will gain fantastical blessings. Okay. This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wait, wait. after the buff character joins your party, max HP up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So in the overworld, or does this include like Abyss? I need to know. Does this include also Abyss? So like, if 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 this thing gives buffs to characters outside of the event or the whatever this thing is called, does this apply to when you do Abyss as well? Because that's big for people that are struggling. Because that is kind of big. And also could give incentive to pull for certain characters that are getting that buff as well. But that's good. Wait, wait, I like wait, that. Wait. I like so that. you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes! Wow. You're kidding. Wait, okay. The mage behind the theater must be super powerful. Oh, super powerful. And I know that everyone's probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating in Imaginarium Theater vigor? combat challenges. So when a character's vigor is fully depleted, they will no longer be able to fight, ah. and you will have to replace them with a new character. It's time for okay, some R&R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, I get this it. This is very so similar to a feature that Weathering Ways has. You have to pay has. attention to how well they work together. Yes. And also how well they can fill in for each other. Exactly. There are this. And I should also mention that not all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters Wait. can only be gathered by progressing through the story. They can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium Theater battle or mm. when you encounter certain special events. Oh, these cool. things. Mm. So this makes it a bit roguelike. Part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. But let me explain a little more they about the They basically took the Abyss of Weathering Travelers Waves and another in-game feature from Weathering Waves and combined to it to make this. Story. Now, which I'm not against. Will unlock certain characters for battle, and others. This makes it more interesting and more fun and more engaging. So uh -oh. I'm not complaining at all. So travelers will have to choose very carefully. Ooh, no pressure. Right. <laughs> it might be clean. Can it could be clean. Performance tour rewards by completing challenges and finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will also receive a debut performance gift. Ooh, presents. Travelers who feel particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. Cool. And that's not all, right? <laughs> I Travelers am going to be tackling this toy ASAP during this event, which I'm very, I, I with like this. The concierge. Uh -huh. In this return, looks like fun for me. Travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Yeah. Oh. Right. Travelers will be able to take all sorts of new cool pictures. So I that's another incentive. So permanent. So hyped. Mm, me too. Mm. And also, more poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. Wait, how finally, often does it get each updated? Each performance in the Imaginarium Theater has several difficulty levels, yes, and yes, each yes, one yes. has a different number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will yield even better rewards. What are these Bring it on. As okay. Wolfie the Concierge Wait. likes to say, when the brilliant. And each one has a different number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels. Um, eight. 35 days? So it rotates every... I think it's going to rotate every patch. I think it rotates every patch. By, this, by the looks of it, I think it rotates every patch. 35 days? Or maybe... Well, yeah. Yeah. 35 days, 11 hours. I think this is going to be like a, a, a rotation every once per patch. Let's see. 60. 120. Oh, that's is 100. Uh, 120, 220, 220, 220, 280, 280, 280, 380, 340, 340, 440, 440, 440, 500, 620. That's what? 20 more Primo Gems than Spiral Ab No, no, that's less than Spiral Abyss. That's less than Spiral Abyss, right? Hmm will yield even better rewards. Bring it on. As Wolfie the Concierge likes to say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it. How can Aww, he be so that's cute? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I still didn't make him as cute as he actually is. Of course, it'll take time for travelers to raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. 
and I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primo gems. Yep. Always. <gasps> you just said the magic primo word. Gems. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give <laughs> me. Each month, Imaginarium Theater will each alternate month. updates with the Spiral Abyss. Wait, each month? But it said 35 days on the thing. Maybe you can pick up prizes a little after it rotates. Um, um, that's interesting. In addition, the total rewards that can be gained from the, oh, he did the math for me. has been increased from 600 primo gems to, to 800. 800 primo gems. Let's go! Yes! Yeah. But... More information will be available across Genshin Impact's official social media account. Okay, but it was increased from 800, but I also heard that it's no longer rotate every two weeks. It's going to rotate once per month. So technically we're losing. We'll so. see. Keep a lookout. We'll I, see. I we'll see. Ooh, we'll see. The background is changing. Ooh, here we go. Here Let's we go. see what else this version has in store. Yes, please. New bow. Mutual security enhancing hmm. simulation. Huh. I see some hilly churls and ruin guards. Bye, so Natasha. I'm assuming this is one of those monster fighting events. Yes, Ooh. sort of. Travelers won't be engaging monsters directly. Instead, they'll be able to command monsters to fight in a cooperative simulation. Ooh. The Millilith will be hosting a strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding of security needs throughout Devat. They'll be accompanied by representatives from Mondstadt's Knights of Favonius, <laughs> Inazuma's Yashiro Commission, Sumeru's Core of 30, and Fontaine's Special Patrol. Their joint exercise is intended to improve military tactics across the what continent. Is sir, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. <laughs> that, that was my official voice. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my best. As I was saying, you can play two different kinds of scenarios in the event. Assault scenarios and defense scenarios. As what? special representatives to the simulation, travelers will need to analyze enemy formations and deploy the best units for completing Is the challenge. Is this a tower defense? In assault scenarios, you only need to select your combat Is units this a new and tower deploy defense them within your staging event? area. So once the scenario okay. begins, the unit will automatically start attacking your opponent. So sit back and I don't know if you can relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh, yeah, okay. but you literally uh, don't attack. Oh. How come my hilly troll archers got wiped out so quickly? Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> you sorry. Know. I know, I know. Mm. Uh, but here, we, we can fix it now. So oh, I like the new enemies. Ranged units like like hilly churl archers are vulnerable to melee units like mita churls. Yes. But don't fret, you can turn a bad situation around if you choose the best units to tackle the opponents on the battlefield. Just choose Ooh. the best units, Zach. Exactly, just choose the best just, units. Just choose yeah. the best That's units. Simple fix, simple <laughs> fix. <laughs> In defense scenarios, you need to deploy units to effectively counter enemies who are attacking from multiple directions. So, defeated enemy units will drop support beacons, which can then be used to deploy additional combat units and frontline structures. As the unit's commander, travelers can use their leadership skills to create favorable conditions for their team. And if they're successful, mm. then travelers can obtain various rewards mm -hmm, from the mutual security enhancing simulation event. These rewards include brrr, primo gems, yes. a crown of insight, <laughs> and a four star bow, cloud mm. forged. Oh, give me. Okay, and next up, we're introducing another combat-related event, Endless nice. Forms Most Martial. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this one's gonna test some different skills. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, travelers only got to simulate combat, but the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why it's important to come up with combat tactics on the this, fly and take advantage the of the tower defense one's conditions. probably gonna be a little bit more difficult. So, in Endless Forms Most Martial, travelers will have to defeat enemies brain a little according bit more. to the special rules of each stage. Special rules. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected by the electrocharged condition. And that is the only way to accumulate progress towards the challenge goal. Now, once oh. they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn ba -ba 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 rewards. I'm appreciating all these rewards. Yes, I love hey, rewards. Sammy. Hmm, so this is one of those challenges that requires you to strategize. Indeed. Okay, let's move on to our next event. Let's try this now, boys. Why does this? Uh, about this looks Mabu, cute. Which is a rather unremarkable part of Fontaine. Uh-oh. Ooh, I like that is. It that must have come cute. from that crocodile-shaped cannon. Huh? It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoot. This cannon was modified by a Fontanian engineer. <laughs> it is now just a toy cannon that you can use to fire hydro bullets. So why not have some fun with it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Why bullets. not, indeed, if that's the case? Travelers will need to allocate energy to the cannon and choose the correct firing mode to destroy as many target balls as possible within the time limit. They'll even uh, be yes. rewarded for their we trouble. We all love to target balls, don't out. we? Mm -hmm. In order to keep the event interesting, Congratulations. special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. So... Be sure to check it out for yourselves in the new update. Cool. You guys, that's that's my kind of yeah, old school arcade games because I'm an old school. No, oh, okay, I'm just old. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, it's like oh no 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 not bad. Our next event <laughs> takes place in the land of Mondstadt. Travelers this. will encounter a familiar light novelist who recently completed a new script. 
Travelers who follow her script will be able to embark on a wondrous journey of Light literature novelist? and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to mysterious locales where they will have the opportunity to earn rewards. That is, if they can evade bullet curtain assaults from you know, various <laughs> mechanisms and collect enough labyrinth coins. No big deal, you can do it. Easy, right. easy. Wicked warlocks will also be scattered okay, across this one's the like a easy <laughs> one. If you defeat them, then you can earn even more coins. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm -hmm. But hey, don't worry. Travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. So these buffs will make the oncoming bullets a lot easier to deal with. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily well, if you're I am speeding through this. This one's so like easy. The new version will be adding more updates to the Genius Invocation TCG. Isley, Farina card. To new character cards, Whale monster card. cards, and cool. action cards. Also, more NPCs will be ready to challenge travelers in the open world. Oh, and I hope they're ready to lose. Oh, well, oh, take a challenge. <laughs> also, the Leyline Overflow event will also return in the new version, so don't miss out. Whew, that was a lot of information. Let's take a break while we take a look at the last redemption code. See you soon. All right. I mean, there are some events that are actually look kind of interesting. I mean, I just really tackle them for the primo gems at this point. So, well, yeah, that's all, that's all I have to say. That's my, my only thing I have to say about that. And we're back! Welcome back, everybody! We're back! We're back. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the version 4.7 special program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. Oh, was there ever any doubt? It's okay. <laughs> I think you'll find I'm very, very pro. Now it's time to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. Yes, please. Okay. First um, up. The encounter point system for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Wait, Hopefully this helps travelers level up more quickly. Nice. And now for some really exciting news. Travelers Max Resin will be increased from 160 to 200. <laughs> About <Nice>. god dang time. <laughs> <laughs> this does mean that it refreshes that after 27 hours, so you can basically just log in sure once a day if you don't have anything else to do. Game. I don't really use the all right, that looks like all the artifact information we thing, because it doesn't Bye, not travelers. that great. What? What? <laughs> There's one more trailer. Wait, wait, wait. No, There's kidding. one more trailer. Give me not Lynn. Give me not Lynn. Giving you guys the chance to to talk about your time here on the special program. How was it? I have things to say. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast, and I'm excited for everyone to get to see Siege in action and add her to your parties, I hope, and yes, just see how cute she is with her little pills and her adorable little syringe. Ah, dang it. Oh my god, and like, thank you very much. Yeah, same here to everything that Sarah said. It's such an honor to join the cast. I'm so excited that Clarence is finally coming out. I hope everyone has fun of uh, like meeting her and learning more about her. Uh, and also, I, I'm really excited for these combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I, I've been playing this game, and my favorite thing is beating in this world. Yeah, no, me too. <laughs> I love fighting these monsters. And, and you guys, I, I have not been playing this game for years, and so while, while uh, Dainsleaf is a, is a man of mystery, uh, this game, so much of it is a mystery to me, and you guys were so welcoming today, I learned so much. And I don't know, is this the thing that finally gets me to start playing? Oh. Or are you guys a, you know, a gateway? Ooh. Is that what that just happened? Did we get it? <laughs> yeah, it's been Dainsleaf awesome doesn't doing with play. You guys. I'm so excited for Imaginarium Theater, <laughs> of course, all the new characters, and the new Archon Quest because I got some new voice oh, lines. No. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me the last trailer. <laughs> I know there's one awesome. more. Well, thanks for coming, guys, and see y'all in game. See y'all in game. No, Bye. There's, one. there's more. There's more. There's one more thing. Show it to us. Ooh, music. Is this not Lin music? This is not Lin music. Hey, these things are called Saurians. And they're super cute. There's like a whole herd of them. Wait, is this going to help us? Are we controlling these? Do we get to control these? Because they move. Are these like, are they basically mounts? Ooh, and a water one? I want that one. I can travel through. Wait, there's actually going to be lava traversal. What? Yo. So we basically transform. We're probably going to transform into these creatures and control them. That's actually insane. <laughs> Everyone asking for mounts. People are and then Hoyoverse is just like, how would just turn into an animal instead? Also, is that thing flying? Do we get to fly on that? Wait, ho, 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 hold, ho, hold, ho, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. This thing? They're cute. They're also really cute. I like their their designs make me think of Pal World. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not complaining. Okay, we can Spider Man with the grass one. That's pretty cool. Okay, wait. That basically looks like Rathalos from, uh, uh, wow, I'm blanking out. Mo Monster Hunter? Um, and environments. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this much greenery. These look like, um, the way these are built look like, the, um, that famous mountain in Africa that's, that I'm blanking the name of. 
more than like I think uh, this Notland is supposed to be kind of uh, based on South America, if I remember correctly. But this looks interesting. We, I mean, we already see like a little um, one of the things that requires a key to unlock right over there. And it looks like there's not a lot of aerial vertical. Oh, there looks okay. There is a lot of aerial verticality and like underground verticality. It looks like like look down there. Looks like that's gonna be like a dark uh, jungle before we reach lava. Hold up, hold up. I need to well, let's dissect this like from like from the from the start. Also, the music is very very different and very unique for this area. Yes, we get to become cute dragons. I love it. Actually, I'm very excited for this. This is... Ooh, then. Oh, man. This is winning me over. So, climbing seems easier. If this is actually in-game footage, we can notice that there's no stamina bar. But I don't know if that is a thing or not. But if, they're, if this is their way of getting rid of stamina, good on them. I hope that... And they're only showing it in the Notland area. And I'm really hoping this is, like, not, like... Uh, Fontaine where you can only swim without sta worrying about stamina in Fontaine and that you can use these dragons outside of Notlin. Please and thank you. But basically swimming in the ground sounds hella fun. I hope switching between the three dragons is not going to be annoying. I really hope it's really easy and smooth to just swap between the three dragons to use the different features, but who knows. And unlocking puzzles in Notlin looks like it will require some of the um, these uh, Saurians. Based off that hint. And I think this one is a hint that there is going to be a flying version. And because this one, the flying one is bigger, I think this is going to be the last one we unlock. I think there's going to be a, a, a pacing on which one, how and how we unlock them. And I have a feeling the flying one's going to be like the last one we unlock. That's going to be my guess. I'll say that you think that's the hint because we don't actually get to see us controlling it. So I feel like that's going to be like an end game story and that we try to try to uh, get. And I mean, flight is just going to be like flying. I'm, I'm really hoping, I really hope I'm not coping too much. But that's what I'm seeing, based off this teaser. Let's get Aztec in this house. Let's get Aztec in this house. No, let's get Saurian in this house. A Saurian for each element? I mean, that'd be cool. But I feel like they only really need to give us Saurians for each, like, traversal. Because what we've been wanting is a mount, and this is their answer to it. And... We've got a Geo one, we've got in a Hydro one that can also travel through uh, la lava, so we don't really need a Pyro one. We have a Dendro one. The flying one looks like it's Pyro, even though it's flying. So I don't know about each element. I mean, they could add that later down the line, but yeah, that's good. That's good. Look at their designs over here in the bottom right. That's cute AF. They, they look like Pokemon starters. There's like grass, fire, and water. Pick your starter Pokemon. <laughs> Pick your starter Pokemon, Genshin Impactors. Okay, so not only does this basically answer um, people wanting mounts, this kind of also competes with Echoes to a very slight extent uh, from Weathering Ways. Very, very slightly. I feel like this was like the answer... I mean, to me... To me, based off their designs, they're kind of they're kind they're kind of taking away from Pal World, in my opinion. Um, but not like the features of Pal World, but the 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 designs make me think. I don't know why they make me think Pal World for some reason. I am excited for Notland. Not gonna lie, I'm I'm excited for Notland now. I I will be playing through parts of Notland. I'm I'm ooh, I have I have deadlines. I have deadlines to catch up to each game time go bye bye for sh for real there's six symbols at the start uh, giving you guys the chance to, to talk about your time here Hold on the special up, program what? how was it i have things to say no I'm, I'm just i'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast hold up 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 where bye, bye everybody bye. where
Oh, there is one, two, three, four, five. Wait, six. Isn't there more than six? Wait, 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 wait. Aren't there? Isn't there seven elements though? Chemo, pyro, geo, hydro, electro. Nemo. Okay, now let's go in order of um, area. Nemo, geo, electro, dendro. Hydro. Yeah, no, no, no. There's not enough for each element. At least not yet. I mean, because it's based off Aztec and it's that's kind of like South America, there's probably no cryo. So they search six and then they tell us that we're getting three of them at the start. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I'm down for that. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. This is cool. This is great. Okay. Genshin hype. Genshin hype. And I am actually going to thank Weathering Waves for this because of competition. So that the oh, so that the players only get W's from this point on. Except we're probably going to stress out about uh, balancing our time because we have other things to do. This is great. Let the stress begin.